Hello, this is Christopher with WebEcuter. In this video, I'm going to show a neat way Michael Earls came up with for adding meaningful descriptions to enumeration values written in C-sharp. Michael has agreed to let us create this video showing his idea. Michael's solution is, is showcased on his blog at the website listed here. Coming into Visual Studio 2015, we have our enumeration here called my enum, and it contains several values inside of it. The issue that we're looking at is we want to be able to provide meaningful descriptions to these enumeration values. One way to do this is to create something like a switch statement, or what we can do is go through each one of the values within the enumeration and present a meaningful description for them. The problem with this is that if we add more values to the enumeration, then we have to come back and edit this method over and over again. Michael's solution was to take advantage of using an attribute called the description attribute class that's contained within the system.component namespace. First of all, let's come back over here into the, uh, into the enumeration. And what we need to do is we need to add in here, now we're going to make a using statement, system.componentModel. And within here is, a, is an attribute called description. So what we can do is we add the, the description attribute. And of course the class is called description attribute, but we only have to provide the, the keyword of description within the attribute uh, as we decorate the, uh, each of the values. This will take a parameter that takes on the form of the actual description that we want to apply. And we would do this for each one of our values in here. So we now have meaningful descriptions directly applied to the actual values within the enumeration. Therefore, if we came in and we added additional values within the enumeration, we can also provide a description to go along with that. Now, the key on this is to be able to have a method that we could use to acquire the information given the uh, given the particular enumeration value that we're looking at. To accomplish this, we're going to come back into our code library. Should be noted that the code library that we're in happens to be a static library. Therefore, we can actually add in here a an extension method that we can use to take advantage of the uh, of of our uh, of our description attributes. If we come up here to the very top of the uh, of the of the class, we're going to add in here uh, an, a public static method. It'll also return a string. And we're going to give it a name of get description. And it's going to take a parameter of my enum, and we'll give it a parameter name of enum value. So this is the method that we want to start off with. However, we want to turn this into an, into an, a, a, an extension method. And to do that, we need to apply the this keyword in the first parameter. This way, we, we actually use the method. We'll apply it to the enumeration value not uh, not really treated as a uh, just as a regular method so given that we're going to come in here we're going to create a an array called values and using the enum type we're going to use the get values method to get all of the values contained within my enum
Then starting off with a variable called description, we're going to set it equal to null because ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to return description back. In the meantime though, we need to go through each of the values that we have within our enumeration. And that's, they're now contained inside of our values array. So we're going to do a for each. We're going to use uh, an int. And we're going to create a variable called vows. And we're going to search through our values array. Of course, what we're taking advantage of is the fact that, of course, an enumeration by default is an underlying integer value. So we're going to uh, use that as, a, as, as the, the, the key for, uh, for defining, uh, defining our information. So given that, we're going to come in here, we're going to take val, each value that we have within the, uh, the values, uh, within the values array, and we're going to compare that to the enum value that we passed in. Of course, enum is in the is in the form of my enum, so we need to cast it over to an integer to make the comparison. If we do find one, then what we'll do is we'll come in here. We need to identify its type, so we're going to create a type variable using the type of operator on my enum. This will allow us then to tap in to using member info. Uh, there are the array of that, uh, it's a, an array of member info items. And it should be noted that member info, scroll up here, you'll see that we have using system.reflection within here. Uh, we have to add that in here so we can take advantage of using the member info uh, type. Let's call this meminfo, and this is going to equal type dot get member of enum dot get name and here this is type of my enum my enum and we're going to compare that to val so what we're going to do is we're going to take the val variable that we have here coming from the for each loop and we're going to transfer that into a member info array. Now since there's only one value, then we come down here to the to our next line. We're going to use create an object array um, called attributes. Because here what we're going to do is we're going to take mem info and we're going to look at the first element within mem info, which happens to be at index zero. And we're going to use the get custom attributes method. Again, we're going to use type of, but this time we're looking at the attribute, which is description attribute. And then we, of course, we're not looking at inheritance in here. So we're going to add a param another parameter uh, to turn off the, uh, the the inheritance chain functionality. So we'll make that false. Again, we're only returning one value within the within this attributes array. So therefore we're going to set description equal to that one value. However, we need to cast it from an object to that of the description attribute type. So we're going to say description attribute. This is going to be attributes of zero. And then 
dot description. So the actual description value will now be assigned uh, to our description variable and then that's what we will return back from this method. So given that, let's see, let's see it in action. So we're going to come over here into our program pile and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in here. First of all, let's create a, a variable. We'll call this one description as well. And we'll just assign it a value of null. Then we're going to create a myenum variable called test enum. And let's set it, set it equal to myenum.value2. Then we can take description and we can set it equal to test enum dot get description. Again, as an extension method, the parameter is actually uh, the variable that is being applied to, or more specifically, the object, and that's test enum. And so there's no actual parameter going to be used within the get description method. So to demonstrate that this is indeed the actual description, we're going to add a console.write line and we're going to look at description. So let's go ahead and build our application here. So we build our solution. Let's come over to, uh, to a command prompt. Now let's go ahead and call this solution. So we're going to call the solution. We have it called enum with description. And when we run that, sure enough, we see the description for value 2. As you can see, there's, this could be used in a number of different situations. And so there's a, a definitely advantage because we don't have to uh, we don't have to go to multiple methods, multiple sets of code to make changes. The get description method can stay the, the way it is. And so any changes that we have to make will only have to be made within the, within the enumeration itself. I hope this, this video has been useful and insightful. Thanks again to Michael for letting us uh, present this to you. Please check out his blog at the URL shown here for other useful articles.